to tell you five little things about the show. Uh, one is, how did I get the job? Um, I uh, am a puppeteer and a political satirist. Uh, how do you say puppeteer? Chitoreiro. Chitoreiro. Huh? Chitoreiro. Chitoreiro. I do that good? Okay. So, um... Close enough. My background is a puppeteer and a political satirist. And um, I. Oh, okay. They didn't know what Chitereiro meant. Oh, oh. So now I explain. Chitereiro. Wiggle, wiggle. Um, and I had a show many years ago about being a food engineer. E há alguns anos eu tinha um show que falava sobre como ser um engenheiro de alimentos. And it, well, <laughs> how many of you are food engineers? Tem aqui engenheiro de alimentos? Okay. Go sit in the car. Um, yeah, food engineering. Uh, I was actually satirizing. I was making fun of food engineers. Um, so I, I hope you'll forgive me. Na verdade, ele fazia uma sátira dos engenheiros de alimentos. Então, desculpa aí. I didn't. I have never met food engineers before. Eu não conhecia nenhum naquela época. And I hope I never do again. No. Espero que continue assim. Uh, but I had a show satirizing because there are some food ingredients that are explosive and some that are made of wood and, you know, there's a lot of crazy uh, explosive and made of wood. Então, <laughs> e na verdade eu fazia essa sátira porque na, dentro da engenharia de alimentos tem umas coisas muito esquisitas, no, no alimento em si, né? Tem coisas que é, explodem, tem coisas que são feitas de madeira, então eu fazia sátira com esses elementos. What she said. <laughs> so um, uh, I, I did the show in a lab coat and uh, you know a laboratory like a white lab coat and they had seen uh, they were looking for somebody in Hollywood to play the part of Beekman and they couldn't find anyone believe it or not in in Hollywood so they they went looking you know under the rug <laughs> uh, you know they looked in the weird places and they found me uh, but I think what's interesting about it is um, I, I in the audition uh, I knocked over a beaker of water like it w I was doing very I wasn't doing so well I was very stiff and uncomfortable and nervous but then I knocked over a beaker of water and then I played in the water and I threw it around, I put some cologne on, and that got me the job. Rapidamente ele fazia esse show, ele usava um jaleco e o pessoal estava procurando para alguém para fazer o bico, mas não conseguiu achar em Hollywood. Estavam começando a procurar em lugares mais diferentes, esquisitos e tal. Ele foi chamado, fez audição, na hora da audição ele derrubou uma jarra de água. E aí ele fez uma gracinha, pegou a água, fez uma colônia e tal, não sei o que, e deu certo. Yeah, and I, I guess... Um... In science, too, I think improvising and mistake making is very important. Not to get all serious, uh, but uh, a lot of great scientific ex uh, discoveries have been made through accident, obviously, and through improvisation and free thinking. Uh, thinking like an artist which I think is helpful for scientists, yeah? E na ciência, na verdade, eu acho que essa questão do improviso, de brincar com o um erro mesmo, é uma coisa importante. Acho que muitas das descobertas da ciência foram achadas por aí mesmo. Essa improvisação na criatividade do artista. Uh, okay, the next thing I wanted to tell you about was humor, jokes. Uh, obviously, for Beekman, it's very important, the humor. And humor is very good, it's disarming. And uh, I love telling jokes and... All of a sudden, it's gotten very serious out here. Um, we did a lot of bodily functions on the show. Uh, bodily functions. Então, a gente trabalhava muito com humor, tal, e outras coisas que a gente fazia no show é trabalhar com as funções corporais. It's sort of like uh, you know, kids love bodily functions. They love like snot and um, throw up, barf. E a criança adora isso, né? Adora falar meleca, vômito, né? Yeah, and sweat. Né? Suor. <coughs> Saliva. I had, I had to make a list. <laughs> Saliva. Eu fiz uma lista, tá, gente? Yeah, dandruff. É, caspa. Body odor. É, fedor, futum. And the... <laughs> right, and, and the... 
the king and queen of all bodily functions, farting. E a realeza, o peido. Yeah. How do you say that? Peido. Pedro. Hi, my name is Pedro. <laughs> so, uh, you could say, well, why, why bodily functions? You know, it's so vulgar. Uh, that's what a lot of teachers thought. You know, like, oh my God, it's so vulgar. Uh, what's vulgar in Portuguese? Vulgar. Vulgar. Uh, but you know, it's it, bodily functions are like pornography for kids. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, kids love it, you know, oh boy, snot. Uh, so, you know, it, it's a way of sort of getting kids involved in, in science is by appealing to the things that interest them, you know? And we figured, well, snot, I mean, the kids think that snot is... Uh, you know, a between meal snack. E na verdade é isso, né? Como você traz a criança para a ciência, como você consegue interessar ela, né? E meleca, gente, meleca para criança é salgadinho entre refeições, né? Right. It's a guy in the back going. Mm. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it's interesting to tell the kids. Well, actually, it has a function, which is that it's sticky, like a trap to catch germs, germs and dirt and stuff like that. So, uh, kids can then look at themselves and see themselves in a different light, like there's a purpose to all these things in their body. Mas aí você começa a falar, não, essa, essa consistência dela, essa coisa de ser mais melada, é legal porque segura os germes, né, deixa a sujeira para fora. E as crianças começam a ver neles mesmo uma história da ciência. Yeah. Um, so, that's what we did. We did farting and uh, burping and... We didn't do, like, shitting or anything. <laughs> Beekman has a bad mouth. Uh, so, you know, it was a way to get kids involved. Um, another thing I want to mention is 52%. E outra coisa que eu queria falar para vocês, afora envolver as crianças desse jeito, é que 52% uh, of the audience in the United States was adults. Da, do público, dos espectadores nos Estados Unidos eram adultos. And it was on at 7:30 in the morning on Saturdays. E o show passava às 7 da manhã no sábado. So, so the adults were probably a little bit like, mm, I hate this guy. Um, but, uh, it, so, it, it, the reason it appealed to adults was because uh, the adults felt like they would get it. You Mas follow a me? A razão pela qual, na verdade, tinha esse apelo para o adulto, é que o adulto pensava também, não, isso eu entendo também. Uh, because it was a show for kids about science. Porque era um show para crianças sobre ciência. Then they would understand it, adults would understand it. E aí os adultos conseguiam entender. And science, you know, is very difficult for a lot of people. It's very inscrutable. Porque a ciência é uma coisa difícil, né? Uma coisa meio inescrutinável, né? Um... Não! Traduz! I just know nice words. Oh, okay. Right. I'm making jokes and I don't even know it. 